Hey, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can very easily create this gift card or gift certificate using nothing but Microsoft Word, a browser, and paints. Now I created this gift certificate for an upcoming auction where the restaurant was kind enough to donate a gift card, but they did not have a gift certificate uh, pre-printed that we could use. So I went ahead and created these and I thought they turned out pretty good. So first thing we're going to want to do is we are going to want to go to file new blank document okay because we're obviously going to want to start from scratch um, we're then going to want to go over to page layout now if you notice i had two on a page and they were longer versus taller so we're going to want to go to page layout here we're going to want to go to orientation and we're going to want to click on landscape that gives us a little bit more real estate to work with okay Next thing we want to do is we want to go back to page layout, go to margins, and we want to go to narrow. And again, that's going to give us much more real estate to work with on our page. So uh, the very first thing we're going to want to do is get this logo um, on the top here. Okay. Uh, when you're making a gift card, uh, you're going to want to have the same look and feel from the restaurant uh, and or vendor to the gift card. So we're going to go to the web page we're going to click on control and then print screen p r t s c n and that should be up on your upper right hand side of your keyboard again hold down the control key and hit print screen p r t s c n and then we're going to go on to go back to word our new document and we are going to want to either go to home and we can go to paste or we can hit control V either way but we're going to paste that because we just copied it now what we want to do is we want to click on this image we want to click on format and we want to click on crop and again I know this image is selected because I see these little white boxes around it and again you click on format and then you click on crop and you basically want to go and move your cursor until you see this little L this little black L and that's when you know you're cropping it and you want to move it all the way over to for me for the home because I obviously don't want home to show up on the gift card and I want to move this down and again you have to be sure that you see that little white T and now I have our image okay next thing is we can't really move our image around so what we want to do is we want to click on this box over here for layout options or we want to right click and we want to click on wrap text either way but you want to click behind text okay now we can move this around all right so now we have our logo next thing we want to do is sort of create that box um, that we have so we want to go to insert here on the ribbon and we want to click on shapes and we want to insert a square or a rectangle and you can just click anywhere within the screen okay now again i know the shape is selected because i see the little boxes around it you want to click on format you want to go all the way over here to the right hand side and you want to make this four inches by eight inches okay again we said that we wanted to make it longer than higher okay now that we have this we want to move this to the center of the screen where you see that green line so we know this is centered we want to click on format and again i know this shape is selected because i see the little white squares around it you want to click on format and you want to do a shape fill of no fill and you want to do a shape outline and a weight of three point okay now you can move this laconda revia over here but now if you take a look here the color blues don't match do they and if you want to get those color blues to match exactly the laconda and the revella and again if you can see here those blues don't match uh, what you want to do is you want to go here and you want to type in paint to open up Microsoft Paint, and then you want to go ahead and just do a paste okay now you want to click on this little color picker here right here this little eyedropper and you can click right on the D and you can see your color right there now with this color being selected again you see that blue color the the, the color wheel color with that color being selected you click on edit colors from here you can see red green and blue you write those numbers down 27 23 and 90 okay 
Now what you can do is go back here and you can click on this box. You click on Format, go to Shape Outline, and you can click on, well, here it is right here, but you can click on hmm, More Outline Colors right here. And then what you want to do is put in your 27, 23, and 90. Okay, now that is going to be the exact same color as the Laconda Ravello. Okay, uh, next thing we want to do is we want to click on this shape. We want to make this an inch high. And again, you can obviously make any changes that you want. Now, as you can see here, this doesn't go all the way over. So what I want to do is I want to kind of create an overlay so it just um, very easily bleeds into a white, okay? Uh, so I can write over that and have text over that. Because if I just, I could technically pull this over here, but that's going to make the Laconda Ravella not look great. Okay, so I don't want to do that. So what I want to do is I want to insert a shape and I want to once again insert a box and you want to go ahead and click and go ahead and insert that box right there. Okay, what you want to do is you want to do a shape fill of white and you want to do a shape outline of no outline. Okay, You're like okay, well that doesn't look very good. That looks pretty ugly. Um, so what you want to do is you want to click on here, you want to click on format, and for shape fill, you want to click on gradients, and you want to go to more gradients, okay? And again, you want to click on a gradient fill. Now, your gradient fill is, is not going to um, look like this off the get-go. It's probably going to have another one here with like a green color or something like that, but you're going to have multiple colors. So what you want to do and how you play with this gradient stop is you first of all, if you want to get rid of any one of these little ties, you just click on whatever tie you want to get rid of and you click on the X. If you want to add a tie, you can add a tie and those just kind of add different gradient pieces. But what you want to do is be sure that there is the white filled right here. You want to click on the color and you want to click on white and you want to click on the color and you want to click on white. And then you want to do the transparency to, and as you can see the transparency changes, you want to change the transparency to about 100%, 97%. And again, you want to be sure both of these colors are white, okay? Um, and again, for this one, you want to do a transparency of zero, and for this one, you want to do the transparency to about 85 or 90%. But again, you want both of these colors to be white, okay? Um, and that's how you can get sort of that gradient fill, okay? Next thing we want to do, and let's actually make this a little bit smaller, is we want to insert a shape and we want to insert a line. We want to create this line right here. Now what you want to do is hold down the shift key while you move that line over, okay? Holding down the shift key is going to keep that line straight. Then we want to do our shape outline and we want to do that same color and we want to do a weight of three point just like the outside. Okay, and you can move this down or up by using your arrow keys when that shape is selected. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to insert a text box and we want to draw a text box up here and let's go ahead and move this right here. And again, we want to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline for that text box. And we want to type in the address And what we want to do is we want to click on the text or select the text, click on the home box, go to line spacing options. We want to be sure this is set to zero and single space. Okay. Now we want to select our um, text. This is quick sand light. Okay. 
okay and we want to make this a 16 point font so we want to make this just a little bit bigger right there and we can go ahead and kind of make that in the center okay uh, now what we can do oops east is we can right click or see the text box is selected because we could see these little arrows we want to right click and we want to do a copy and then you want to click outside of it and then you want to right click again and you can do a paste and then you can use this for the phone number And again, you can center this. And then for the websites. Okay. And obviously, we're going to want to change the um, size of our website here. Oops. And we can make this just a little bit bigger. There we go. And then finally, what we want to do is we want to insert another text box. And we want to do just a little symbol right here. So we want to, once again, uh, we inserted the text box. You want to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline for that text box. Because again, we don't want you know, a big ugly box to be right there. So we want to do format, we want to do no outline, and we want to do no fill. Um, but we want to insert a symbol, and we want to go to more symbols, and here's wingdings, that's um, I think where I got this one, and here it is right here. And you can just click on insert, and then close. And once again, you want to go to home and you want to be sure your blue color is selected. And you want to be sure that the blue color is selected and not black. And you want to be sure that blue color is selected. Okay. Um, now what we want to do is we want to create sort of the body of this. So we want to go ahead and once again do an insert a text box and you want to draw a text box. And we want to write two. And once again with the text box, rather than having this ugly text box here, you want to go to format, do a shape outline of no outline and a shape fill of no fill. Um, the text or the font that I used for this was AR. Julian, and it is a 16 point font. And again, you want to have that same blue color. Okay. So I have the two, and then you can do a control C, or you could right click, you can do a copy. And then you want to do a paste. And you want to go right here. And you want to write amount. And then you want to hit the tab button over. And then you do issue date. And then once again, you can do a paste or you can right click and do a paste, whatever you want to do. And then you want to write authorization. There you go. And you want to line this. And if you did want to center this, um, you could make this so it is centered. Um, you can do that. You need to be sure that obviously your um, all of your text boxes are the same length, but you could do that. Okay. Now all we need to do is the final insert one more text box for the gift certificate on the bottom here. The font I used for this was black pen okay and the size was 75 and I want to write 
gift certificates. And I want to select this. I want to make this that same blue color. I want to center this, and obviously I don't want the S to be cut off. Now clearly um, the text box has that ugly box around it and it's filled in with white. So we want to click on format, do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. And then the final piece that you have to do is you need to do an insert shape and click on the line. Once again, hold down the shift key while you create that line. Okay. Now that line, you want to make the shape color that same blue color. From here, we can click on Control C. Again, holding down the Control button and holding the C. And actually, if you want to make this two a little bit bigger, you can do that. And then we can do a Control V, or you can do a paste any way you want. And we can go, and again, you hold down the Shift key while you move this. Hold down the shift key while you move this to keep that straight line. And once again, you can hold down that shift key while you make the straight line. And you can kind of play with the lines. Um, however, aesthetically you like the way they look, you can you can make that, you know, taller or shorter. Uh, but that's what you do. Now, let's say you wanted to make two on the same page. All you need to do is hold down the shift key and select all of the different pieces of your document. And again, you got to get all the lines while you hold down the shift key. Now you can do a control C again, while those are all selected, you hit C T R L and then the C at the same time. And then what you want to do is hit the sh um, enter key to move this one down. There you go. And then you move your cursor back up to the top and you hit control V for paste. And then while this is all selected, you could move it right there. And now you have two gift certificates on the same document. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like the video. Oh, and uh, I apologize. I did not get the um, second little, there we go, piece here. Let's move this up from the front. So if you noticed, I did not get the um, fading piece. So all I want to do is move these to the front. Go to say bring to front. And say bring to front. Now we can move this up. And now you have them exactly the same. And that's a great example of not getting all of the objects when you do a paste and you have to grab one more. If you do that and move it on, sometimes you do have to move things to the front and the back in order to get them to look exactly um, correct. But uh, I hope you found this useful, and please like this video and or write comments. I do um, take a look at the comments, and I do try to respond. And thank you so much for your time.